what you think is what you think is what you think is harder selling cds or streams CDs. CDs. exactly right because guess what jay-z and michael jackson had to convince their fan base to go stand in the line they had to come out their house go stand on the line to get a cd with their hard on money and these other people that they had to compete with to do that and they went platinum numerous times subscribe for the very latest y'all i want you to tell me the first thought in your head and we can, we'll kind of talk about what you know what this you know what this is right so troy okay drake is bigger than michael jackson what's your first thought <laughs> no huh? i don't my first thought was i don't agree you don't agree tell me first tell me and, and you know i this has been going around this has been going around the internet for a while now yeah i've seen that too you know what i'm saying where people are saying that drake is bigger than michael jackson right and they also saying that Drake is bigger than this bigger than um hey somebody bust off shots? Yeah. Y'all hear that? I, yeah. I know I'm not tripping. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah. Yo, y'all, y'all y'all not at the army base, are y'all? Nah, my daughter's still up, man. Oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what I'm like, what's going on? Um, but so yeah, so like they all everybody's saying how Drake is bigger than bigger than Michael Jackson and how he's bigger than um who else? He's bigger than um Jay-Z. Right? What are, what are your thoughts about him being bigger than any of those artists? See, the first, the, of course, the first thing, uh, I guess the second to the first thing I was thinking is, uh, what's the criteria for big? I mean, are we talking right. platinum records, uh, um, number ones, all these other kind of things like that? I would imagine that's lumped into there as well. But I mean, when I think of Michael Jackson, man, I think of he, he like, he resonates with all age groups and like all different generations, right? Mm. So it could be a little kid, Michael Jackson dances. It could be a freaking 80 year old doing Michael mm. Jackson and everywhere in between, right? And then we know when it comes to music and what people sample and I mean, dance and all these people, you see so much of that type of influence, right? So, I mean, of course, Drake does his thing. Everybody probably knows his name. Same thing from the, the different demographics. Or actually, maybe not. Like, if I use that same example and I say, you know, from 50 to 80, do they know Drake? Some people might say no, but I guarantee you, if you ask, like, people about Michael Jackson, they're going to know him. So, I mean, I don't know today how do people define define big, but I guess how I would look at it is, like, in any type of conversation, regardless of what the demographic is, you ask anybody, would they say, oh, yeah, I know that person, and be able to at least name one song. I think Mike, compared to Drake, Mike's always going to win that particular type of situation, right? So not even talking about number ones, record sales, and nothing like that, but just that alone. Go to any random person right now and say, hey, do you know Drake? Okay, if, hey, do you know Michael? Okay, give me a song. I feel like Mike's stats would be higher with random people. So to me, I mean, that, that makes him that makes him bigger. You know what I mean? Without getting too detailed with it, that's how I look at it. So and I and I know I, I, don't, I don't think. Uh, but I know when they talk about Drake, I know they're talking about when they talk about Mike, they talk about record sales, right? Uh, I, I know that's what they're talking about, but we'll go, we'll get into that in just a moment. Mark, Mark, what do you think when you hear when they say that he's bigger than Jay Z? Who Drake? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> right. So tell me. So what? What's your? What are your? What are your thoughts about that though? What do you? What do you? What do you think about that? 
I mean, just like what Troy was saying, like, I feel like if you ask somebody, or you had to go around and ask random people about, you know, Drake or Jay-Z, you're going to hear more people more familiar with Jay-Z. I mean, Jay-Z been putting in work way longer than Drake and he's still doing it, you know, and I just feel like he, he his timeline's a little bit longer and his music is still relevant. All the way from then, all the way up to now, like, you can't really compare that. Like, Drake is hot and I, I won't say he's not, you know, and he does have a big fan base, but I just feel like Jay-Z was already kind of in the game and it's not like he ever, he ever went anywhere. You know, he always stayed on top. Whatever he dropped, every album was timeless. There's nothing that Jay-Z dropped that was just, you know what I'm saying? Everything that he's dropped has been his gold. So I feel like, no, I, 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 would, I wouldn't put Drake over Jay-Z in, a, um, in that sense. Mm, got you. So, Cause, and that, once again, I think, I think when they talk about, when they talk about that, they, they, I think they gotta be speaking about record sales. Um, Ken, what you think? What what um, what are your thoughts about this both Mike him him being bigger than Mike and and Jay Z? He's not. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be people that's gonna be uh, you're gonna identify with him. I think mostly this this current generation is gonna be identifying with him because most of the stuff that Drake's put out, a lot of the newer generation have grown up in school. Like his rec, his older his older records, they were in like either like high school or they get a refer back to a time when they were growing up with this stuff as opposed to people like us we can identify we, we, we remember Michael Jackson and, and the impact he had we, we were we were, we were you know there or as we already saw Jay-Z as he rose up to the position that he's at so I think that you know we were going to identify more with that as opposed to new generation but as far as like looking but us be, being more seasoned and being able to look at like the grand scope of the impact of Michael Jackson, the impact of Jay Z, the impact of Drake, I still say that Drake is, is can't compare it to them because he's not. His music, they're gonna talk about hits, but his music doesn't have that um, that impact to me as a Jay Z or a Michael Jackson. It's just that's just how I how I look at it. I mean, right, but um. I, I still won't. I still give him an MC uh, nod, nah, though. I'm I'm hey, I, hey, that's 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 your personal opinion. I mean, that's just your personal opinion. You know, if if you want your MCs to do the tootsie the tootsie step, whatever that is, it's cool. Yeah, hey, that, that's what. It, but but I was I would say this. I would say this. That well, first first first, you gotta understand that these these are two two different generations, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you think is what you think is what you think is harder, selling CDs or streams? CDs. CDs. Exactly. Right. Because guess what? Jay Z and Michael Jackson had to convince their fan base to go stand in the line. They had to come out their house, go stand on the line to get a. CD with their hard-on money, and these other people that they had to compete with to do that, and they went platinum numerous yeah, like, times. Like, yeah, record sales, like records, actual records with Michael Jackson and cassettes. Right, Mike, Mike, Mike went through all phases, all phases except for <laughs> streaming. I don't think I don't, he didn't do streaming too much because he, but when he passed away, what 2010, right? Mike passed away, so streaming was just really hitting before Mike passed away but but they had that's that's way more difficult than streaming you know what I'm saying like it's easy for like if you're a big artist it's easy for you to somebody just hit a button and it's just streaming right like I mean they get right. a whole bunch of music for 999 right so you know that part and just the fact that his songs, like I don't think Drake is gonna be able, like that's not Drake. I, I don't, I don't see Drake being that artist, and he might be, he might be, maybe, maybe I'll see this in the future, but I don't see him like somebody like popping on Drake and like really like Drake songs really getting the party jumping, like cracking, cracking. You know what I'm saying, like. He, like, has, he has a few joints, not like nothing 
Right, that's what I'm saying. Baltimore got a whole catalog. Nah. Right? Jay Z, by the way, owns all. I mean, I, I I don't think Drake owns all his records, all his all his songs. I'm I'm, I'm but when you look at Jay Z's catalog, it says S. Dot Carter Enterprise. So when you fully own your catalog, then we can talk. Let's not forget about Michael Jackson had grown people crying and no, fainting. I still don't understand that. And men and women. I still don't understand. Men and women, right. I still don't understand. <laughs> crying. I, I, I don't I never understood what he was what he was doing to do all that. I don't know. I still don't understand. Mike bro, is he, my, Stand on the stage and just stare, bro. Yeah. But you gotta have a different type of energy to do some stuff like that, bro. Your aura gotta be crazy, like Mike. Mike, now you know how everybody said you can see. You, I can see the aura. You can't see Mike when Mike come in the room. He, you can't see Mike. He he like those he like those squares that he was stepping on when he was in the Billy Jean video. He just glow. Wow. Mike glow. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. Mike glow. And Mike, you know, listen, we can get a whole podcast about how savage Mike was, how Mike was buying people catalogs. Yeah, those gangster, man. You know what I'm saying? How 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 Mike, how Mike was was producing for real. Big, big Big records. Big records. He was producing these songs, bro. Like, you can't... The, the, the impact. Jay-Z was making grown men who were sagging their pants wear button-ups. Come on, man. You did Drake don't have that impact. He can't impact... He can't impact the, 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 the thug... All the way up to the to to the to the corporate America white guy. He don't he ain't that guy. He oh, ain't wow. he, that's great influence, man. Right. In, impact is big. In, impact is probably the biggest thing in any greatest of all time conversation. Because you have to convince people that you are that, like you are the one to, the one to follow when it comes to trends. You don't, do you see anybody wearing heart parts in their hair? Somebody's out there doing it. Somebody no, no. Is. I, I'm, 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 talk, I'm talking about I'm talking about a generation. Somebody out there doing it. Somebody it is. But they not wearing. The, I don't see. I don't see twenty years wearing heart parts. I don't see it. I'm just saying. I'm just playing. I, I, I mean, that's just me. So. Yeah, I think we all. I think the consensus is that they, that they they can shut that down, right? I, I think that I think that Drake. I think Drake got somebody out there writing this stuff. But he did confirm Ghost. He has to use his Ghostwriters, right? Hey, Michael Jackson did too. But we talk but about he. We talking about a singer versus a. Uh, he he's a singer. He R and B artist. He can he can use, he can use Ghostwriters. Slash R and B slash MC. <laughs> no, no. Stop it. Stop it. You're baiting me. Stop, stop it, dog. Stop it with the baiting. I'm not saying. Stop, I'm stop with the stop with the baiting, friend. Stop it, dog. I'm not I'm not falling for you. He's not an MC, so stop it. He's an RB artist. He's an RB artist and he gets he gets he gets the he gets the pass to use Ghost Riders. Cause Mike, you know, flow with you is right, wrote wrote butterflies, you know. You know, even though you can't say Prince, you can't say Prince had a ghost rider, because I'm sure Prince ain't never had no ghost rider. I don't think so. He ain't nobody, ain't nobody write Prince stuff. Um, but that's, an, you know, hey, we, we can get into the debate about it, it, who's greater, Michael Prince, but we leave that alone. Right. Okay.